Hi everybody, it's crazy. It's Monday and it's time for the UpBGE video of the week. Now before I get started, gotta give a shout out to my trusted because you guys rock. To my crazy fam, I love you guys. And to my patrons, thank you for your continued support. Now we're up to episode number 49 and last week we left off with To the Infinite and Beyond. Now before I get started with this last part of the chapter, because this is the last part of the chapter, it goes on to a little bit of things, but a couple of things I want to talk about as well. And I will uh, finish it up at the end of this part of the video um, to let y'all know where I'm going with Oops and a couple of the projects I've got going. So, let's get started. Okay, to the infin infinite and beyond. Now that we have gone over the various possibilities with Logic Bricks, it's time for you to put these skills into practice. Try the sample files and play with them. Rip them apart. Disassemble them and combine them. It's important to look at them creatively and use your diversity and flexibility in your favor, okay? In the past few years, there have been community organized game engine contests. One of the categories is specifically lo uh, Logic Bricks only games. It, it's really interesting to see what can be, uh, be done without a single line of code. An online search for Blender Game Engine contest should give you enough inspiration for further experimentation. Now, um, this, like I said, this book is old. Okay, it is old. So it, this goes back to 2000, you know, between 2000 and 2010. Um, this book was basically based off the older versions of Blender, which is the 2.x versions. If you're using 3.0 version, to try to follow along with this you can but there's a lot of different changes okay so but um the up bge community which is in the description below um you can actually get in there and talk with them there are a bunch of great people in the up bge uh, discord server um and they like to help you know a lot of uh creative artists and game developers who are wanting to get into the game development community um basically you jump in there, you talk to people, um, be courteous, and they'll be courteous back to you. There's a lot of great people in the FBGE Discord server, so go check them out down there in the description. Also, it's the link to their uh, Discord server, uh, not Discord server, but their webpage is also on there, so you can download the, the latest version of FBGE or older versions of FBGE. Um, there's also a lot more links down at the bottom of several people that have their own YouTube pages or also on the FBGE. Um, and also different people that I've met throughout uh, my Blender experience. Um, very good people. Um, go check them out. Check out their YouTube channels. Go ahead and check out their uh, Discord servers. All those links are right below my thanks to my wife uh, <laughs> uh, thank yous down below. Okay, so go check them out. Um, I'm pretty sure they would like a like and subscribe from you. Me, doesn't matter. I'm here to help myself and to help y'all. Um, uh, with that being said, you know, they do have contests in the BGE uh, Discord server. Um, you just talk to people and you can actually create one yourself and have people participate in it, whatever. Okay, so go check them out. Something good to uh, think about. There's still blender, uh, blenderers out there of the old world and we're still here. <laughs> okay, so let's continue on. Actually, even if you are planning to use Python over plain logic bricks, it's important to understand both systems and how they work together. In the end, which tools you, you use will depend on the project you are working on, your team, and your workflow. Finally, in one way or another, the next chapters are related back to this one. You might review some parts of this chapter while learning the game engine aspects of animation, graphics, physics, constraints, and Python. So that concludes chapter three, okay? And basically, technically the video, so if you don't want to hear me ramble on about, you know, some of the other projects I'm working on, that's it for this week, um, and just continue on. Uh, we'll do next week with chapter four, which is anim animations, and we'll go into that and work forward with that. Now... They're gone now, right? No? Okay. I'm going to sit here and smile for a minute. So if y'all want, you know, whoever wants to go can go. Just hit the X button. Uh, 
if you're still sticking around here, then that means you would like to hear about OOPS, which is Open Orbis Project Simulation. Um, it's my biggest project I'm working on right now because um, it's going to, it's, Oh, oh, it's been in R&D for years, and I've been trying to get it to flow, but I'm a single person, old fart here, and still learning myself. Um, but I also have a couple of other projects um, I've been working on, and one of them is called You Can't Die, and the other one is called Trip. Now, before you, you know, think, okay, well, there's a game called Trip. No, 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 mine hasn't come out yet. Mine's a different one, okay? Um... That game, Trip, is based on basically ragdoll effects. I want it to be a ragdoll game. And I think it would be fun to play. And, you know, I haven't gotten all the aspects done. But, hey, your character has to fall down certain things. So, I'm working on that one. Stay tuned for that. Um, I'm also working on a game called You Can't Die. And uh, the aspect of the game I'm going to keep secret for right now. Because I don't want to spoil it for people. But I'll give you a little bit of the story. You know, a witch casts a spell on our likely heroes. Blah, 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 blah. There you go. There goes your story. <laughs> um, I haven't completed the story yet, but I don't want to spoil that either. But there's a lot of the aspects in the, that game that I'm working on that I want to do differently than most games out there. Now, it's not, it's not revolutionary. It's been done before. Okay. Every game I'm working on has been done before. All I'm doing is just adding my feel of it. Okay, so um, You Can't Die is going to be a very fun game. I'm, I'm planning on it. Um, and then you've got Oops. And everybody knows that Oops is my biggest project. And it's one of the ones I'm going to work on that is going to be basically an open world. It's not an MMO. Uh, it's not everybody against each other. Um, but there's aspects on it. If you'd like to find out more about it, become a patron and help me out with getting it going um and you'll get exclusive access you also if you become a patron before i get oops you know started and out there then you will get something special but i'm not trying to you know get patrons i'm actually trying to get myself going um i started out with a potato computer and i've got a nice nice computer now i, I saved up and saved up of my own money and bought and I do it to try to play around with the things I enjoy playing with. And I love playing video games. I love games that are fun. And that's what I'm working on. Okay. Um, I went back into learning Python because I wanted to learn how to do Python so I can figure things out a little bit better with Blender. I also decided to learn how to do Logic Break. So I did this game engine book. And this is the one I've been working on for the past, uh, past little while. So um, if you like what i'm doing and you think that you know you would like to follow along that's great I'd, i would love to have you drop on over to the server say hi i you know me day and all the other guys e out there you know all of us will be happy to have you on the server and talk with you about just about anything um we do have some rules follow the rules and you're good you're golden um with that let me see kick it back over here with that um i'm gonna kind of go ahead and end it there i got about eight minutes it's a short video this week um because we we're getting to the end of it i could actually finish that one part off uh last week but i didn't want to go too far because um one of my buddies told me hey you know you're a little bit long-winded on them 30 minute videos crazy and i'm like yeah yeah i'll try to keep it about between 10 and 15 minutes um but for the most part I try to make it to where I can understand it as well as you. I want y'all to understand what I understand. If I don't understand something, hey, the comments are right down there below. Just go ahead and drop me a comment. You know, I'll be more than happy to answer people back. You know, um, if you feel that you don't want to, you know, put it out there for the world to think, jump on over to my server. I don't have a lot of people on my server. So jump on over and say, hey, you know, I got a question. I'll be more than happy to answer it. Or one of the guys there will be more than happy to answer it. Okay, because I got some knowledgeable people in my server, but they're not like, you know, big people. <laughs> they're like me, you know. Uh, and so, with that being said, uh, it's about kind of where I'm at. So, keep, it, uh, keep an ear out. We got Trip coming up. We've got a You Can't Die. And then, of course, my biggest project and the one I'm really trying to push to get built is Oops. Um, and so, 
I got some ideas working. Uh, my buddy Day has been helping me out a lot. Uh, my buddy uh, E Master has been, uh, you know, a very big inspiration. Uh, if you don't know his, uh, I believe this link is in my description. If not, it will be in there because I could have swore I put it in there. But uh, E Master is one of the coolest people as I know. Um, he's very artistic, and some of his uh, art is beautiful and awesome. So E, if you're out there. Give everybody a shout out on the server, okay, man? Um, Day is a gifted coder. He does some awesome stuff. Called one of them is called Game Three. It's one of the ones I'm going to be using for a lot of my projects because it's a all-round little engine that you can drop your character into a scene and run anywhere you want to go. Um, he's got it to where you got flying physics, driving physics, uh, all kinds. Jump on in the server, say hello today, and, you know, ask him about Game 3. Game 3 is a really cool little mini engine. Um, I'm, like I said, I am going to use it in my projects because I like how it works and it's comfortable to me. Um, there's also a lot of other great people on my server. Stop on by. Uh, my buddy Giovanni, awesome actor. Um, he does a lot of cool stuff. Um... And of course, I've got family members in there, and I've got other people that I call family in there as well. So come on by, okay? So till next time.